This video is a recording from the Men Improvement Podcast, brought to you by menprovement.com, the number one self improvement resource strictly for men. Go there today to see all podcasts, improve yourself as a man, and get access to three free ebooks, including one that will help you triple your testosterone naturally. Thank you and enjoy. Ready to take your life to the next level? Then you're in the right place. Get all the information you need to be better, improve everything, and live life like a pro. This is the Men Improvement Podcast with Sean Russell. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Men Improvement Podcast, brought to you by menprovement.com, the number one online self improvement resource strictly for men. I'm your host, Sean Russell, a self-improvement enthusiast who is obsessed with taking his life to the next level. I created this podcast to help myself and men like you do just that. The topic of today's show is how to command a room and get the attention of every woman wherever you are. For this episode, we have our very own JD Dallas of ModernMaleLifestyle.com. He works through his own site as a dating coach and dating instructor and he works with us at improvement providing a lot of content for you guys and i got him on here because he is a complete expert in teaching guys how to be more alpha and become more attractive and meet women and nobody in my experience even from the guys i've listened to on youtube and in the thousands of audios i've listened to explains things in a step-by-step process as solid as JD. And in this podcast, which is a relatively short one, he tells you exactly what you need to do to become that charismatic guy that you see out every night talking to every social group who all the girls are competing over at the end of the night and who always leaves with either a phone number or a beautiful girl at his arm. Before we jump into the show, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, Combatant Gentlemen. They're a clothing company who have eliminated middlemen completely. They raise their own sheep and they pick their own cotton so they can bring you designer quality clothing at ridiculously low prices. Without any middlemen, combatant gentlemen can bring you 100% Italian wool suits for only $160, beautiful chinos for only $35, and all sorts of other clothes at incredible prices. I'm so grateful for them to be a sponsor because I know how much they can improve your guys' lives. And if you head over to Combat Gent, that's C-O-M-B-A-T-G-E-N-T dot com, and you make a purchase and use the checkout code MENPROVEMENT, you actually get a free tie with every order. So check them out, guys. With that, let's jump into today's episode, How to Command the Room and Get Every Woman Competing Over You with J.D. Dallas. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. I'm here today with JD Dallas of ModernMaleLifestyle.com. Now, I don't know if you listened to the second episode where we talked about what it actually means to be an alpha male, but JD gave some incredible advice and he ended the show promising that he would come back on here and talk about how to command a room like an alpha male and wait a minute wait a minute wait did i say that yeah i think you did so you have it on tape right yeah i brought you on here to deliver on that promise because personally Uh, i'm very interested to hear what you have to say on the subject well i'm um i got a lot to say on it sean you know it (laughs) um you know commanding a room um Basically, what you know we're talking about is you're at a cookout, or you're at a party, or you're you're in a bar, you know, any any situation where there's um, single women mm-hmm. and lots of them in a social type setting. How do you get recognized, and how do you approach different uh, what we call sets of women? You know, there's rarely going to be one single woman by herself at a minimum there's usually two women together there's groups of women there's mixed groups with guys and girls you know and you come in as joe single guy right Mm -hmm. 
a couple of things right off the bat. You know, I want to talk about your body language. And I don't know if we mentioned this in the last episode or not, but the um, first no, we I think we talked about it for like a minute, but we were maybe like how to yeah. hold your beer bottle and all that crap. Yeah, hold it at your waist. Yeah, but we yeah, go over yeah, that yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. You know, you have to be in the mindset of when you walk in to any room that you want to command that you own the building. And my buddy uh, Johnny Bravo and I, we used to do this thing. If you have a friend with you, this is awesome. Whenever he was like talking to a girl or something, I'd walk up and go, hey, Johnny, good to see you, man. Hey, thanks for getting me in. Uh, man, it's freaking mm-hmm. awesome. You know, and he'd be like, yeah. oh, JD, yeah, this is blah, 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 blah. And, you know, if he had a two set going on, then I would stay there and he would indicate to me with the signal that we had, you know, which which girl he was interested in and which one I was supposed to divert so that he could continue his approach. But what I'm doing is I'm confirming him socially, giving him social proof, Yeah, you know, making it look like we're both regulars. He owns the place, that kind of thing. And that just has to be your mindset going in. And here's what I like to do. Um, And I, I do this a lot. And you'll know it the minute you walk into a club who the alpha female is or who the best looking woman is or the most flashy woman is, you know, she's going to stand out. There's going to be that platinum blonde playboy bunny type woman over there. And then lots of six, seven, eights, nines, and maybe even some other tens. Um, The most important thing that you can do is I like to use that um, alpha woman or that playboy bunny woman to my advantage. And even if she's there with her boyfriend, it doesn't matter. But you have to come into the room like you own the place, which is you're happy to be there. Everything's great. And you're going to approach her first. Mm. <clears throat> Why do you want to do that? Well, you could consider that you know, you're sacrificing this woman. And what I mean by that is even if she's there with her boyfriend, you want to go over and have an innocent conversation with her and you have to disarm her defenses really quickly and I'll tell you why you want to have this conversation with her but the first thing you want to do is disarm her defenses because she's used to if she's that hot or she's the hottest girl in the place and she knows it she's used to everybody hitting on her Mm -hmm. or she's there with a boyfriend or she has a boyfriend or she's whatever so you walk up and you say Hey, hi, I just, uh, I noticed this blouse you're wearing. I have a girlfriend that I have to get a present for. And I know that she likes your style of clothing. Can you tell me where you got that? Okay. Yeah. And this does a couple of things. One, I have a girlfriend. Okay. Meaning I'm not here to hit on you. So she's relaxed. And two, you're talking to her about something that all women love to talk about, which is fashion. So she's going to want to get in that conversation with you and show you what an expert she is. And you've given her a compliment on her outfit. Man, I really like your sense of style. You really remind me of, you know, my sister, um, this kind of stuff she wears or my girlfriend that I have to get a present for. Can you tell me a little bit about that? You know, is that it looks really expensive, you know, and she'll tell you how she got a great deal on it and everything. And what's going on here is, is that the other women in the room, you see you talking to her um, confidently and at ease, and she is engaged in you. And this is your own social proof right off the bat. And because if this hot chick knows you or is willing to talk to you or is having a great conversation with you, anything like that, You know, this is why I say sometimes if women are in the friend zone, leave them there and use them to your advantage. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I was just thinking that this sounds kind of like going to the club with a couple of really hot friends of yours, females. And that's like instant social proof when you walk into all the other girls being there. I know that when I'm with my girlfriends from home, I always have an easier time meeting other girls there and and getting girls home. Uh yeah, isn't it crazy? You know, like when you're single, you're like, man, I really want a girlfriend and you can't get one. Or if you have a girlfriend, um, it seems like everybody wants you. you yeah. Know? 
Yeah, and I, when I was saying girlfriend back then, I was referring to friends that are girls. But yeah, friends that are girls. Yeah, sure. that that's it's it's the exact same way. You know, it's it's funny. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, when you get married, you know, you have every opportunity in the world. Hmm. It seems like, um, but you can't take it. Yeah. But so you don't have your uh, your wing woman, if you will, with you, and maybe you have your buddy, um, or you're by yourself. So. You just walk up and create a wing woman with a good looking girl in the room. And by telling her that you have a girlfriend, it doesn't mean that you still can't get her, but um, just don't worry about her. You know, you're this is you're you're sacrificing this one woman to open up the entire rest of the room with women. And what you need to do while you're talking to her is casually look around the room and make eye contact with at least one other woman to make sure that at least one woman saw you talking to her and that you smile at her and then go back to your conversation, okay? Mm-hmm. And what you're going to do after you're done talking about where to get this kick-ass blouse at this great price and she's going to love it and what size is she and all that other shit – Man, great talking to you. I'm JD. What's your name? Selena. Nice to meet you. And blah, blah, blah. And you're going to go over to the woman that you had made eye contact with. And you say, hi, my name's JD. And, you know, I noticed you when I was talking to my good friend over there. And I thought you looked really interesting. And I just wanted to come over and say hi. And what you've done here is you let her know that that other girl is your good friend. She's not your girlfriend, but you basically you're single, okay? And I was standing with her, and I noticed you. And I know you noticed me because we made eye contact. Now, at this point, you've gone from the hottest girl in the room to another good-looking woman, and... This is within 10 minutes of walking into the place. Yeah, I was going to say, that's that's probably the, the biggest part. A lot of guys, they go out and they, they'll wait. You know, they'll have a few drinks and they'll wait and they might get in into their own heads. But this is, what I like about this is it's kind of, you're it's taking... very the, proactive. You're take, yeah, it's, one, it's proactive because you're walking right in and you're, bam. It, obviously, it's going to take some willpower and you might have to force yourself to do it the first couple of times. But I think that the fact that approaching the first girl without any outcome dependency and just completely harmlessly and innocently and not trying to get her number or anything really takes the pressure off you, gets you into the social mindset and then you exactly. can just roll off of it. Yeah. Yeah. And all kinds of benefits and most of them you just touched on there, you know? Um, and now you're uh, conversing with this second girl and then you do the same thing. You look around and try to make eye contact with somebody. And even if you don't, and if this conversation with Trixie now doesn't go that well, or even if it does, you're still going to move on to another woman in the room Mm. and say, hey, I was just talking with my good friend over there, and then point to Super Hottie about um, getting my sister, make sure you say sister this time, a blouse and she said that I should go to the blah 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 store. What do you think about that? Okay. And here you are again, and you're just gonna keep repeating this process. And this gets you in to talk to every woman in the room, and every woman in the room sees you talking to every woman in the room, which instantly uh, elevates your social status, um, makes you more desirable. And lights the fire of competitiveness. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Women are very competitive. That's why when they see a hot chick, and maybe she's had breast augmentation or something, they always lean over and say, oh, what a bitch. Look at those. I wonder what she paid for those. Well, she could probably, she could be the nicest person in the world. They don't know that. They're just jealous. They're just competitive. And that's why women say and do those things, you know? That's why they look at your Facebook account. Who the fuck is this, you know? Mm -hmm. And even the hottest girl in the world is insecure about how she looks, 
And um, I don't know if you asked. Um, oh, man, that's the one thing I forgot to ask. That is the best question. I, I actually forgot to ask all the user questions because we got into such a detailed conversation, me and Kezia. And it was just flowing. And then after the episode, I was like, oh, I didn't even ask any of the questions people sent in. (laughs) For those of you who don't know what we're talking about, go back and listen to um, Sean has an interview with uh, this really, really beautiful girl. And it's basically like, hey, yeah, yeah, what's what's it take to talk to a perfect 10 or something like that? Yeah, she actually gives some great, some really great advice. I really like that show. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, there you go. Um, Hopefully everybody's listening to everything, all your podcasts, you know. No, yeah, we got we're we're doing well. We're doing well. Good. So th- this is a way to instantly establish your uh, social value, okay? And even if you don't want to hit on women that night or you're nervous about it, it gives you a great topic and in to talk to people. You're asking their advice and you're talking about your friends you know you're showing that i'm not a lone stalker okay Mm -hmm. um here to hit on all the single girls um i have friends and i have beautiful friends and i'm not hitting on you i'm just kind of asking your advice and your opinion you know and oh by the way i'm jd you know and maybe you hit it off um but even if you're the type of guy that likes to wait till later in the evening or get a few drinks in you, you've planted the seed in multiple women's minds. And they've had a conversation with you early and all that stuff. And now when you're sitting back and what most guys do, you know, survey the room and try to see if anybody's looking at them. Yeah. Now, you know, you have interest if a woman you've already talked to is looking at you. And, I really, really encourage guys, you know, to try this. Um, and like you said, without an outcome based um, motive. Mm-hmm. Um, and the only outcome we want here is to learn and to get comfortable. And it's just like hitting a baseball, you know. Um, you have to go into the batting cage and you have to have swung at some pitches to be able to hit the ball. And it's, you can't just. That, and, you know, it's it's funny because that's why they call it striking out when you don't hook up with a woman. Um, yeah. You can't you can't walk into a club and then wait till the last second and then hope you're going to hit a home run. You need to practice, you know. Um, there's some other scenarios that are going to come up. You're going to see, like I said, two women together or a group of women or a mixed group. And one of the things that you want to do with a mixed group of people is um, – and this this kind of goes back to high school, you know, like you're outside the click. Well, why are you outside the click? Well, you haven't inserted yourself into it, okay? You're outside as long as you want to be. So walk up and introduce yourself. And I talk to 17, 18-year-old guys all the time, and they're just like, everything's so clicky, and I'm not with the cool people. I'm just like, well, then start, you know, uh, being with them. And And the way you do that is big group of people, right, or – three guys and two girls, something. Maybe they're all platonic friends. Maybe two of them are a couple. Maybe the other guy's the third wheel. You don't know. But one of the things that you can ask them is like, how do you guys all know each other? Do you guys guys come here a lot? Is this a great place? Or how do you know the the host if you're at a party? How do you guys know the host? You know, where are you from? I'm JD. You know, I went to high school with him. What about you? Blah, 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 blah. And how do you guys all know each other? Oh, this is my girlfriend, Sandy. Okay, boom, she's out. You know, and this is da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. And you find out, you know, who the couples are. So you can you can pare down your efforts. Um, and that's a great technique. You know, like I said, if you're at a party, how do you guys know the host? And then, no, oh, blah, 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 blah. How did you guys meet? How do you guys know each other? People love to tell you about how they met, you know? Mm-hmm. Um and you can have a conversation with anybody, you know. One of my favorite things to do just to be, um, again, socially proven at a party out or whatever it is, is take obvious couples and introduce yourself to them and say, I was just curious, how did you guys meet? You know, you look like a really nice couple. How did you guys meet? And they will open up and light up and have this 
really personal conversation with you. People love, especially couples, especially the girl, love to talk about this, you know. And this is a great way to just be a great conversationalist. And I guarantee you, at the end of the night, when they go home and they think back on this this party and everything, boy, that, that J.D., he was a really nice guy. And you didn't do anything but sit there and listen to them talk about their favorite subject themselves. Yeah. Yeah, and um, it's really, I'm loving what you're saying here because out of all the stuff that I've listened to and talked to, it's all about how to approach, you know, how to approach a girl. Bam. And like, but not, it's not, this is like a full night, like how to go about everything you know how to it's like a formula because you know there's those guys out there who are naturally charismatic and they're you know you see them they're talking to everyone they're having a great time Mm -hmm. and it's most people aren't like that and this is this is how you appear on how to do that absolutely you're 100 percent correct and i like how you said you see those guys that are out there they're working the room blah 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 this is how you do it you know um let's say there's a group of girls This is one of my favorites, and I'll even give you a topic here. Um, I like to go up to three or more women and say, hey, hey, ladies, oh, my God, I need a female opinion on this. And they're all going to perk right up because they love to give their opinion. Mm -hmm. All right? And then pause for a second, create a little tension. That's kind of a side side, uh, tip there. But um, look, man, if... Let's say a girl went through her boyfriend's email or Facebook or whatever it is, and she saw a bunch of stuff in there that made her upset that her boyfriend was talking to his ex-girlfriend. Um, but that's not really the point. You know, is this something that you would break up with somebody over? And they will go off on this because, first of all, they have either – looked at their boyfriend's phone or their boyfriend's Facebook or their boyfriend's email or somebody has done it to them, especially in this day and age where everybody has their own device with them all the time. And it's, it, it's a great way, you know, and it's, it's our main way of communicating, flirting, meeting people. Everything's online. So if you're with someone and you're insecure, you're going to check up on them and they're going to have an opinion on this. And they're also going to think that your girlfriend checked your email and you're thinking about dumping her. And, it, and and I know this because nine times out of ten, they'll be like, well, if your girlfriend caught you, and they'll be like, wait, I didn't say it was my girlfriend. So let them know that you're single. Okay? And they're going to say, oh, my God, this happened to me, you know, and blah, blah, blah. And the whole group is going to get going, bum, 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 bum. And they're all going to have an opinion on it. And it leads to great conversation that you don't have to think about what you're going to say next. And what you're doing here, this is, a, this is a technique called eliciting values from these women. They are telling you who they are. Mm-hmm. So, and some women will say, well, I don't think it's that big a deal. And you can automatically assume that they've probably done this. You know, they're insecure or they're the jealous type. But here's what you want to do while you're having this conversation. Okay, you you, in the middle of it, just stop and go, oh, by the way, my name's JD. Who are you guys? You know, maybe even how do you all know each other? And then it goes off in another direction. But it's important to elicit values from them because let's say out of these four or five girls, there's one that you want to hit on. There's one that you want to, to get her phone number. There's one that you want to get between the sheets with. The wrong thing to do, Sean, is to walk up and try to separate her from her friends. Cold. Because the friends are, have you heard the term cock block? Yeah. <laughs> okay. They, they have perfected it. It's girls night out and she's the fucking hot one and everybody always sits on the hot one. Bullshit. Get the fuck out of here, Charlie. Okay. <laughs> not going to happen and so most guys have done this and they don't even bother approaching groups of women anymore because they always get cock blocked well once you have everyone engaged okay the one that you want to um, hit on and isolate from the group 
make sure you pay attention to one thing that she says, one value that she says, okay? And also show a lot more attention to the obviously less attractive woman or women in the group and tell them, man, you are right on, high five. That's exactly what I thought, you know? And become buddies with the obvious cock-blocking women, okay? And not show as much attention to your target girl, but pay attention to what she says because it's going to come into play later. Mm-hmm. Okay, once you've established a rapport and that you're okay and like, hey, let's all do a shot, you know, and blah, 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 and you have this conversation with them and you're agreeing with them and you're high-fiving them and all that stuff, um, you know, and you can even say, hey, my friend over there, uh, it, it's his girlfriend and da, da, da. Um, now, from this point on, you can isolate your woman, okay? And this is after, like I said, you've engaged everybody and, and you've proven yourself with everybody and you've elicited values from everybody. You say, look, I need to borrow her for two minutes. I promise I'll bring her right back. And they're like, yeah, 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 go ahead. You have their blessing mm-hmm. at this point. I know this is, a, this is true because this is how I do it. This is how I've done it. You know, this is, I used to just go and go, hey, how you doing? And turn my back to their friends. And the friends, man, they are shooting you with daggers from their eyes, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's insane. So you say, I need to borrow her for two minutes. <laughs> man, I'll, I'll bring her right back, I promise. And you just take her aside, not too far away. And the other girls aren't going to care at this point. And now you want to make a connection with this girl based on her values. And like I said, pay attention to one thing that she said. You know, it's said, man, I just wanted to tell you that I really felt strongly about what you said about blank. And I, I don't think I could agree with you more on that. Um, you're obviously uh, really sensitive to that, you know. And make this connection with her, you know, about something that is of value to her that she made a moral judgment on and agree with her, you know, and just, and just tell her how, how, man, we're like kindred souls, you know, and not on, we both wore a blue shirt, you know, mm-hmm. that's bullshit. It's, it's on this important issue, you know, this, this thing of importance. And that's when you say, you know, um, Obviously, now it's not the time. You need to get back to your friends, and I got to get back to my buddy. But I would love to continue this conversation with you. Give me your number. Yeah. But bam. That's how you do that situation. You know, um, same thing works with two girls. You know, there's Brunhilde and there's Trixie. And you want to get with Trixie. Go over and make friends with Brunhilde. You know, Mm -hmm. you have to get Brunhilde's blessing. Or it's over. They they planned on going out together. You know, you got to put yourself in their mindset. What's he want? How long is it going to take? Is he hitting on my hot friend? This happens to me all the time. Bullshit. Okay. And always kind of not give that much attention to the woman that you want to hit on. Because that's also, again, going to awaken her. Man, why is he not looking at me? Because every time someone talks to us, they always try to hit on me. And he's talking to her, you know, and she's going to be thinking this internally and it's going to get her curiosity up about you. So what we talked about, I guess, just to summarize, and I'm sorry, I got to run because I got another appointment soon, is different ways to start different conversations and start to work a room and prove yourself socially as the alpha in the room. And even if you're, um, you know, your email scenario conversation with the group of girls doesn't go well. Other women in the room are going to see you commanding a group of women and, and they're all animated and they're all having fun with you. You, you can't underestimate the power of that. And it's like you said, you walk in and like, man, that dude's over there just laughing it up with those chicks. How does he know so many chicks? Yeah, no, you have done an incredible job at laying this out in a step-by-step process that anyone can follow and use to be become that charismatic guy the guy that everyone knows in the room and everyone's looking at no matter who you are because 
there's no pressure involved. You're using you're using what a lot of guys rely on their indirect opening and like conversations. Yep. They they use that during everyday life and then they try to transition right away to like getting your number. And it I don't I don't really like that. And I never liked indirect opening. And I was always a direct guy, but I love how you use indirect opening early in the night, no outcome dependency, just to just to give the social proof to everyone, connect with everyone in the room, and then you can go back and do whatever you want because you know everyone, and everyone knows that you're a social guy. Absolutely, and nine times out of ten, again, competitive nature of women, if there are single women there, they're going to start to gravitate to you. You don't have to go hit on them, but yeah. they're not, they're not going to do that based on your looks. I don't care. There's maybe two guys on the planet that are that good looking. We ain't them. Okay. Yeah. So, so we I know have one of them. I know one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help that much though. You'd be amazed. It, it, it'll get you an interview. Yeah. You know, he, um, you like, know, he always wow, gets he's the interview. Yeah. But he never yeah, gets yeah, the girl. He's handsome. Oh, but he's still a douchebag. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and it, it, it does not matter what you look like. Um, I mean, how many times have you seen, really beautiful women and they're walking down the street and you're like, she's with that guy? Yeah, all that so much. It's crazy. You're like, how did, oh, he must be rich, mm -hmm. you know, or he must have a, whatever. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was Trying thinking to keep it. it. Everyone was thinking it. PG-13, yeah. Yeah. So, I, man, I'm, I'm sorry if I dominated the conversation, but Dude, I, I you're, wanted you're the man. to give you... You know, you know what you're talking about. I have no, I didn't have anything to input here. I'm so grateful for you dishing out this information to everyone for free because this, this is amazing. Well, and and that's what it is. It is for free. And I I do. This is what I do. You know, to make my living, I do get paid for this, and I'm happy to share this with you. Um, and if you you or your listeners want more information, there's again, there's tons of free advice at modernmanlifestyle.com and there's also some paid programs that you can download it's it's me basically doing what I'm doing right now for two to three hours on different subjects um, you know with no commercials no bullshit just all straight to the point and you can download that shit and listen to it I think I'm actually going to have to hit you up for those because I haven't as of yet and I'm really I'm really interested in hearing everything you have to say because this was really eye opening and I'm I plan on using this right away Okay, I'm, I'm going to give you, um, most of what I just told you is in my audio program, uh, Complete Conversation Technique and the Art of the Pickup Line. Mm -hmm. And Complete Conversation Technique goes into detail um, about how to talk to anybody. And these are just, I think I gave you two, three scenarios here. Yeah. Um, you know, a girl walking down the street, girl at the gym, uh, public transportation, you name it. And just people in general, how to become a better conversationalist. So I'll send you something. Um, spe I'll send you a link, and you can listen to one of my audios and see what you think of my uh, my uh, delivery. Yeah, absolutely. And everything that we talked about here will be linked to in the show notes at menprovement.com slash MPP013. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Thanks so much for coming on, JD, and you're welcome here whenever you want. Sean, always a pleasure, and, and thanks for what you do at Men Prima. I freaking love it. Absolutely, dude. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the Men Improvement Podcast with Sean Russell. Get more episodes, more tips, and download our free self-improvement ebooks at www.menprovement.com.